Well guys, it's that time of the year, and the most heinous ops to plague mankind are making their return to the midwest. Yes, I'm talking about those lame ass insects that leave during the winter, but come back just to piss us all off. To be honest though, this is one of the many reasons why spring sucks, but it's still probably the biggest one. Even though my alpha was based on Hibachi, I've seen some of you guys think it was actually on the bug guy, and to be fair, I can see why you would think that, but now it's time for me to set the record straight and separate myself from that bug loving weirdo, because honestly they don't deserve to inhabit the earth. And I know what you're thinking. Chief, there are bugs that aren't insects. And yes, I know, and we'll get to those menaces later. But for now, we're going to be talking about the three body monstrosities that unfortunately make up a majority of the animal kingdom. And even though they all suck, some are obviously worse than others, so I'm going to go over them from least to most deserving of destruction. But before I get to that, I want to talk to you about this app that I'm getting paid to promote. It's called Cash for Apps, and what you got to do is sign up with an email and password, and then you can win points by downloading apps and then opening them, which can then be used towards rewards like free gift cards from a variety of stores. But make sure you wait to see the notification for your points before closing the app so you can actually get the points. Honestly, it seems like a pretty good deal to me, so you should check it out. Make sure to click the first link in the description and download it, because it would really help me out. Back to the video, I guess. I'm gonna start with the least trash but still trash ones among them, the moths. You see, moths are these worthless crop things that chill at night. The reason they're at the bottom of my list is because they don't really do anything too bad, like they're just lame. But that being said, like they're still a problem. I'm confused as to how they even get in my house in the first place. Like who invited you here and what door did you use? They're completely unnecessary and serve no purpose other than getting murked. And it's bad enough that niggas be spilling stuff on the wall anyway. But now I gotta grab my shoe and get these limbs out of the way, just so they can leave a permanent mark on my wall like get out of here. Related on the scale of nonsense are ladybugs. They suck too. The thing is, when I was younger, I actually used to like them a little. Like, I'd see them crawl around with their unique design, and I thought they were semi-lits. But now I realize they're just hoes and pussies clothing. Back when I was younger, I barely noticed them moving around. But now all of a sudden, a few weeks ago, I'd be seeing them fly around the lights like the off one. And it'd be making me uncomfortable like put down the henny. And before you negroes ask, yes, I already knew they could fly. I've seen their disgusting transformation eons ago. The difference is now they really be flying around, and it's low-key a concern. First off, they're already in my house when no doors are open and no welcome signs are given, so this tells me that like the moths, they have some sort of teleportation technique that we have yet to discover. And also when I saw them, it was still snowing in my lame ass state, so this tells me that I have to deal with these ops no matter what time of the year it is, and that's a tragedy. Like at least most of their bugs have the decency of waiting until the spring to get on my ass. Why do these guys gotta start the molestation early? But yeah, these guys are fake now, so next on the list are ants, they suck. If they could fly, they would easily be among the worst, but luckily they're too whack to do that. I mean, yeah, some ants have wings and stuff, but keep it a trillion, they don't use it for much. The most they be doing is going from one part of the floor to the other. My problem with them is the numbers. Another thing is they be doing the most when it's time to put them on a shirt. Like really, you gotta use your full force to merc them, and even then there's like a million left, there's still that extra stuff you gotta do. But like I said, they're relatively low on the list. When I was younger, I never really liked them or anything, but it's not like they were that big of a threat. Like, I would see them and just see how they would react to stuff, and they weren't really that memorable, I'll tell you that. But still, it's not so annoying to see them, because at least you can get them out of the way quick. The only problem is you have to find out where their realm is to stop them at the root of their nonsense. It has to be having different types, though. Like, the ones I usually come across or whatever. But then there are these big-ass carpenter ants, and when I first saw them, I was like, what the hell? I mean, they don't really be in as much numbers as the regular ants, but still, like, why are they so big? Then there are fire ants, and I'm sure there are cancers of the world. Fortunately, I never had to deal with them, so it's whatever, but still, they're on the list. Also, there are these things called bull ants that are like the worst of them all. But we live in civilization, so we don't gotta worry about them. Related to ants are termites, and they be doing the most. One time I went to my living room, only to find a whole set of termites coming out of nowhere and setting up shop. These ops eat wood, so they really can't be left off the hook. And some termite treatment guy had to be called, so yeah, they suck hard as hell. Next up are gnats. I'm sure you nigglets in school know exactly how horrible these things can be. These bums are no longer a threat to me because I'm not really in a position where I gotta wait outside in the morning. But back when I was, man these things would ruin my day even before it would begin. I remember back in the dark days of having to take a school bus, I would wait on the grass waiting for the L to come. But of course there was already an L waiting for me in the form of these little dots that be flying around harassing my body. Just like the ants, there's like a billion of them, so there's no point in even trying to stop them. Like on their own, they're too small to even matter, but the fact that they start clicking up in the sky makes them a force to be exterminated. Like where do these things get off clouding my sight with their nonsense? Look, if you're trying to pipe each other then that's fine, but you're not piping me, so why do I have to get touched? It doesn't make any sense. Then there are bees. To be honest, I kinda don't know what I think of these things. Like, obviously they're a problem with their op ass stinkers, but honestly they're just doing their job sometimes. Like for one, unlike most of the other bugs on the list, 
they don't be coming in my house so they get some type of pass from me also they have a super important role in the ecosystem so we actually need them but then again life in general doesn't need to exist so i guess they can piss off after all one thing i'm kind of chill about them is the fact that they don't only be getting all over you as soon as they see you like they're the types of mind their business and just do what nature tells of them so it seems they have the most sense of any bugs also they make honey or something but i don't really eat that so i guess it's whatever but like i said they're still ops and i'm gonna tell you why First off, their stinks are unacceptable. There are multiple reports of them putting innocent niggas on a stretcher, or even worse, the grave due to misunderstandings. And for some people, due to allergies, one bee sting is enough to put them out of commission. And this attack on our people cannot go unpunished. Once when I was little, I tried to conduct a raid on a nearby beehive and poked it. But then when the niggas popped up to show they meant business, I had to retreat as quick as possible to my house. I mean, at least they don't get to live after using their stingers, but still, they have too much power for even them to handle. And of course, the worst bees have to be the ones from my homeland. I keep hearing reports of Africanized bees being a problem for people. Like, doesn't the cotton dairy have enough to worry about? Why the extra hardship? So I designate them as a threat to the well-being of our life. If we could just make some small robots to do what bees do for us, then that would be lit. Next on the list are beetles, and some of them be biting. And no, I don't mean flows, I mean like actual flesh. Then as soon as you crush it, all you can see is a mess on your floor. Like why can't you just take your fat ass outside? Cockroaches suck too. These bums never die, and they be getting over the house to go outside. Once well, we had a problem with it in my home, and it was so bad we were low-key running out of options. But then we got some tape and put food on it, so we could trick their dumbasses to getting caught up in the dirt. So that problem got taken care of. And stink bugs are intolerable. I'm sure each and every one of you niggas watching this video hates them as much as me. It's bad enough that they disturb our eyes with their ugly ass shape and color, but then when you try to get them out of the way, the whole vicinity ends up smelling like ass for the rest of the day. I remember the first time I saw a stink bug, I was like, oh look, an op, and put it in my blunts. But then all of a sudden my room started smelling, and I was like, what the hell? And even after I figured out it was the bug and completely removed it, my room was still smelling for hours, so it was grave. Now every time I see a stink bug, I gotta act quick as possible to prevent them from unleashing their evil technique. And on top of all their nonsense, they can even fly, so they can't be allowed to live in any normal circumstance, and their demise would be the source of much joy in this world. Now we're gonna talk about mosquitoes, and I'm sure this is probably a lot of you guys' most hated bug. Believe me, I also think these things shouldn't exist, but I'm not too worried about them. For one, they're really small. Like, yeah, they'd be biting and causing all this unnecessary pain and spreading disease like malaria, but at least they can be easily killed with your hand. Most of their bugs on this list require some sort of extra existence, but still, apparently mosquitoes are responsible for more deaths than any other animal, so they should be terminated. This next bug may be the one that caused me the most pain and frustration of them all, and that, of course, are flies. These things are easily the most annoying on the entire list. As their name suggests, they can fly. While that on its own is already a cause for jihad, they manage to make it a hundred times worse by always flying at niggas in their face or near their ears. Like why are you trying to beef with the big boys? Why can't you stay outside and get trash there? You know when they be getting on your food it's all over, cause they're full of diseases, like leave me alone. And the noise they make is too much for me to take, like they be getting stressed out and bugging like calm your ass down, I can't even relax when I know a flies in the room. Then when you decide enough is enough, and you have to put one on the news, they be quick as hell in avoiding you, or going on things that you know you can't murk them on. You niggas know the pain of having one fly in the house when there's two you might as well jump but sometimes all is lost and it feels like there's 50 of these threats once when i was a kid and i moved to texas all i saw were flies in every room and it took damn near the whole day to get rid of them for a while i thought that was the last i'm gonna have to deal with a nightmare like that but then again like last year or something my house kept popping these flies everywhere and it ruined my whole week and i thought there was a leak in the house or something like these cunts engaged in a full-on invasion of the house you would think that once you go outside, then the fly folks would have ample room to just live life and not get on you. But no, they still manage to fly on you and your stuff while you're minding your business and ruining your day. And these things can be weirdos, like they'll be on dead bodies and stuff, like show some respect. And their kids be ugly too. I mean, at least they can't fly, but still seeing them as a pretty uncomfortable experience. Like most bugs, there are different kinds of flies. The ones I've been going over so far have been mostly the bigger ones, but some are of the smaller variety. Honestly, I can low-key deal with fruit flies, because at least I can just clap them in my hands or something and wash them. With the real big-ass flies, it's out of the question. And second, they'd be leaving a mess when you kill them. There are regular-sized flies that are a nuisance, but then there are these larger green and blue flies that are really trouble. They basically have all the attributes of the flies I just mentioned, but like twice as bad. But the thing is, the wickedness of flies seems to be regional. When I went to Nigeria, the flies that were there seemed to only confine to one part of the room and never really bother anyone. I mean, there was one that had to be taken out, but the rest were low-key chill. Compare and contrast with American flies that take any and all opportunities to fly at top speeds and disrupt whatever you're doing. With all their wickedness, is it any wonder that people consider that to be from the underworld? But as much as I hate flies with a burning passion, they're not on the top of the list. I know what you're thinking. Chief, what could possibly be worse than this? But once you'll see, you'll understand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the worst insects that are on the top of the list are... Wasps. These are the evil cousins of bees and ants. They're so wicked, in fact, that bees and wasps regularly engage in combat, and unfortunately wasps usually come out on top. 
And by wasp, I'm including hornets and yellow jackets and all those other trash beans. The thing that makes wasps so deserving of death is the fact that they're like the biggest assholes of them all. Like they always be trying to start something and get in the house, but you have to be extra careful to put them in the dirt so they can actually fight back and sting you. The worst thing is that unlike the bees that can't sting you more than once without taking an L, the wasps can do it as much as they want, so they really don't have anything to lose. Whenever I see a wasp is in the vicinity, I realize that I must act quick and not give them the opportunity to do their nonsense any further. Like I said, flies have done more nonsense to me, but that's only because they get in the house way more than wasps. I would rather have three flies roaming around than one wasp because at least flies can't physically hurt you, but the wasps are a threat that can't be let alone, and as such they have no right to be in existence. So now that I've covered the insects, it's time to go over the other types of bugs. Centipedes are garbage. They are millipedes becoming in the most unexpected of places and ruining days, so they gotta get out of the way. Then there are really polies. I mean, I haven't seen them in years, so I don't really care, but they still suck. Worms are dumb, but they mostly stay outside, so it's whatever. Scorpions are threats, but I never really encountered one, but still, the fact that they be stinking niggas should be a cause for their genocide. And spiders you know are lame, but honestly, I can never really hate them. I mean, yeah, they have these dusty ass webs that be getting all over your face, and some of them can be big ass poisonous tarantulas, but the reason I can never get too mad at them is because they be taking out the flies, and any op of the flies gets a low key pass from me, but still, their webs be annoying as hell, so they can die too. Now I'm gonna cap off this video by talking about the cousins of the first bug I went over. One bug I'm okay with are butterflies. I was always interested by their colorful non trash design, and I like the fact that they don't be getting in niggas' houses and all up in their faces. Overall, they're just lit, so they get a complete pass from extermination. So yeah, the more of the stories that bugs should be taken out, and if all life has to end for that, then so be it. Okay guys, make sure that when you subscribe, you hit the notification button, because that lets you know whenever I make a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.